Yo, hello and welcome to mystical agriculture. So in this video we're going to talk about mystical agriculture. It, this is 1.19.2. It also covers all the old versions. So before we get into mystical agriculture, what you can expect from mystical agriculture is first thing you get seeds, which will allow you to automate every single thing in the game, all the materials. Also, you get some machines that can automate your seeds and other things. And lastly, you get very, very strong armors with unique effects like you can have creative flight or you can have huge EUE. And it also goes for all your tools. Okay, now let's get into it. So to get into mystical agriculture, you will need to find two items in overall world. All right. So the first thing is called Inferium Ore, which turns into Inferium Essence. You also can find it from killing mobs. Okay. And then the second one will be Prosperity Ore, which turns into Prosperity Shards. So these are the two materials you will find all over the map, which will help you to get into mystical agriculture. All right. So if you add you can also get a mystical agriculture book that's from the other mod i'll leave a link for it so the mystical this is the type of book that will give you all the items in the mod and what you can find in it okay so if you would like to make the book it's the simplest thing to make we'll get into so the, to make the book here mystical agriculture you will only need a book and one inferior mason okay so after that you will get introduced to how to start making your seed so the first thing you will need is something called the infusion crystal so the infusion crystal will something will need in the future you will make it use some shores some inferior essence and then a diamond in the middle that will make you the infusion crystal so that something will use a bit later okay and then also you can make something called the inferior seed so the infinium essence that you got so you're gonna go out you're gonna find something you're gonna need a lot of it so you can start making it into a seed which will be upgraded later on so now you made the seed you can plant it you can plant it on a firm land or you can plant it on an inferior firm land which is an upgraded version okay so that's basically just to here now you started mystical agriculture you know how to make your first seed which is the inferium seed you're gonna need a lot of inferium mason going from this point okay after that you can make inferium land in the in this mod so there is different types of land in this mod so starting from the tier one which is the inferium land uh, up to the supremium la firm land which is the highest tier okay so let's clear this so these tiers will be very useful later on in the mod okay so i just wanted to mention it now and we'll get into why later okay after that to start making your first seeds so to turn any material you want into a seed you will need three things before you get to start making it the first thing will be the prosperity seed base so this is the seed base that you will need to make any other seed in the game all right so this will be as i showed here it's four shards a seed in the middle to make the seed all right so this is the first thing you will need prosperity seed all right okay and also if you follow the book it will kind of tell you that you'll need inferior mason prosperity shard infusion crystal and then you can make inf inferior seeds and then the resource corpse which is what the seeds we're gonna make okay now you made the seed you will need an altar to turn these normal seeds into material seed so the altar will need two pieces well one piece and eight of other pieces the first piece will be the infusion altar you can make it with two gold some stone and red red wall and then you also need the pedestal for it okay so once you place the infusion altar on the map so we don't need this anymore once you place it on the map it will show you where you're supposed to put all of your pedestals okay so i already placed it here so let's go so now once you finish this now you can technically make any seed in the game but it will only go into tiers so the first seed we'll want to make which is the simplest one stone seed so to make a stone seed you will need the prosperity seed in the which is the base this will always be in the middle and then you will need to put an inferior essence or an essence with the same tier and then the material you're gonna use so let's try with stone and then prosperity seed and inferior so we put the seed in the middle 
we put the inferior essence all around it which is we're gonna put four of it and then the material is in everywhere now to activate the altar the altar would be the redstone signal so just whatever signal redstone you want to give it you can give it it has to be to the altar itself now once you do everything you will turn it into a seed okay now you now once you make a seed every seed will have a tier this tier will be important so for example i made the stone the stone seed which is a tier one now for me to plant this i cannot put it on any firm land so a firm a normal firm land is low tiers it won't work you need to have a same tier or higher so like here for example here i put an inferior firm land here so this is the inferior firm land that you're using it will grow if i tried on a normal firm land it won't grow you have to suit it with the same tier of firm land okay and then you get once you you take it you drop your stone essence and anything will give you an essence so like for example if i got, want iron and i have the stone iron i'll get iron essence iron essence can be turned to iron by using a craft they don't give you the exact material they give you an essence form of it and then you turn it okay once you learn how to make your seed so technically at this point you can make any seed any seed the only difference will be any material seed so let's say like you want to make something higher which is like the iron seed so the iron seed you will need normal iron and basic seed but you'll need a higher essence so to make the higher essence you will need to use the infusion crystal so any tier of seed will need this tier below it so like if you need essence tier 2 you need tier 1 but you need an infusion crystal with it so the infusion crystal will give you normal infusion crystal will give you a thousand tries you can use this out 1000 times and so for inferior essence will give you one predominant essence and then you go higher and higher until you reach the highest tier okay now like for example so iron is tier 3 tier, this is technically tier 3 of essence so you'll need to keep making it until now that that's where you'll need a lot of production of seed so if you look at inferior seed you can make inferior seed which is which is a tier one seed right okay so the inferior seed is is one unique seed that you has a different recipe in the back so if, if you go for it it has the only unique recipe because you want to make a lot of it. now after you make the seed you want to learn so to this point you know how to make almost all the material seed to here we're gonna learn how to enhance it so the first thing that they can tell you how to enhance it is growth accelerator so to make a growth accelerator you will need some stone it doesn't matter what type of stone you will need inferior essence and then you'll need something called an inferior gemstone to make that you will need two inferior essence and a prosperity gemstone which is a diamond and four prosperity chart so in this mod you will have the same idea a lot it's four of prosperity shard on a diamond makes you a gemstone it's four or the an, an ingot it makes you an ingot a prosperity ingot same thing for the seed so it's like the same idea you're gonna go with the same idea and anything you can make almost always can be upgraded so inferior growth gives you a range of 12 blocks and it grows the plant above it faster all right and this is a 24 block and this is a 26 and then you go higher and higher the more you go and then you will always need more and i think so for, if you put a block under you can put one you can put two under you can put more than one under the block and then you can go higher okay so that's the first growth accelerant you can make also you can make a watering can so the watering can starts from the lowest tier so it's just some iron a pole and a bone meal and then you can go higher and higher but then you will here and get into something called a material a mystical fertilizer so you can make this into two ways either you can make it with bone meal and inferium which is something that you don't you don't have automated early on or you can use a fertilizer essence this one it's a drop chance any essence any essence that you have any seed that you're going to use will have a chance to drop it which is a 10 percent chance as you saw earlier when i broke the one here i got one and then you can make it and turn it into this watering can you can go from watering can normal to awakened water which is the highest tier possible 
which we'll get into okay all right now there's just small types of essence fertilizers here so if you go look here it's the normal fertilizer this is the, the this is the fertilizer you can get and this is the fertilizer you can make this one you can get it but it doesn't work and we're gonna test all of these now so if i get a normal inferium essen okay i'll just plant it here if i try a bone meal on it doesn't do anything bone meal doesn't do anything if if i try the fertilized essence it works but it it's like it's like bone meal and if i try the mystical one it's instant growth okay so these are how to enhance the, your speed of growth these are only ways you can enhance it in the mod you can also use outsource mods to enhance the seed production okay also there is two items that the you can make here so these are the two items you can make one for destruction fast and one for so here are the two ones so this one to harvest and replant and this one to destruction and then as always you can make it stronger in both ones so we'll just use a lower tier all right so now let's try it so this one just breaks everything so that's if you want to break everything and you don't want to replant it now there is a different version which is so this is the cycle and this is the size and if you want to try this one this one has the opposite way which if you right click it harvests and replants it again so one one just fully for full destruction and so you, if you want to remove everything and one helps you replant and as always in the back in this mod you can always go higher tier by using the same idea so and the ingots is the same thing you just want four prosperity chart okay all right now so far we have every we can make every material now there is also other things than material which is like the mob drops so to make mob drops you'll have to go to a different thing so we'll have to make soul materials so to make the so the first thing you will need is cobbled soul stone with by using a furnace it will turn into soul stone by using a furnace it will turn into soul dust all so to find the, fir the these materials you will find them in the nether so these materials and uh, here the book will tell you you can find all of these materials in the nether but and you can find you can find it normally there you can also find it in a large quantity so it's not that hard okay so now once you make these once you have this, you can make something called a soul dagger. All right. So here, yeah, you can make something called a sol solium dagger. Let's go in creative so make things easier. So to make the solium dagger here, you will need a solium ingot. So that will need some solium dust, the one that we just made here. So this is soul dust and using the soul dust, so you're gonna make solium dust which comes you will need a furnace and you need solium ore so you can find both of them solium ore and then you can also find cobbled stone which turns into soul dust it's just like it's just the names is, are similar but it's you'll find a lot of it so it will be easy so you'll need to make these two solium dust which turns into an ingot and the solium dust itself with some with a dagger and then you can make something called the solium dagger all right now the reason you made the solium dagger is that using the dagger by killing mobs while using this dagger you can harvest their soul which will be used to make any essence you want for any seed you want for mobs there's also upgraded version so you can make a solium dagger which is a passive one that will give you more souls for passives and that will require you to get souls to begin with so you need passive which is cows chicken and bigs and there's also one for hostile mobs which will need creepers skeletons and spiders okay and zombie too so the way this works is that you will need something called a soul jar so a soul jar can be made by soul glass so you see so you need some soul dust and gray uh, any glass also there is a, an attribute for these that are really cool which is weatherproof glass so these are weatherproof these when you weatherproof a block you can weatherproof a block too here by using the same idea when you get like skill essence from the mobs which we'll get into and these will be like really cool if you want to like trap some mobs or have like blocks that won't be broken easily these are this is the way okay 
So now once you make it the soul jar, all you need to have is have the soul jar in your inventory and then kill, kill any mob you want. So like let's say if I want this zombie to go zombie, I'll just kill I'll kill it with the dagger. My armor is making it very difficult to jump. Okay, so I killed it and I get one. Now I keep and also these daggers can be enchanted. So like you can be enchanted to have a lot of a lot more damage. You can be enchant them as much as you want, and then you can get you can get to fill the jars as much as you want. Also, there is an experience essence, an experience seed, which can be made only by using an experience capsule, and that will make you experience essence, essence, which can be turned into experience drops, which can be turned into bottles of enchanting. So this this is just something else. So you can make the experience capsule buy sodium ingot this one you need one sodium it's just a different recipe but it's the same idea okay and so here with this one you can 100% make any type of seed as long as you allowed it in the back and this mod has the ability that you can remove and allow materials so like let's say you don't want diamonds to be easily obtained like this you can close it and if you want it to be easily obtained you can allow it now once you do all of this you can start making your gear so making gear in this in this is so simple so like if i want to make a sword for example and i want you start by tier one you'll need inferium gemstone and inferium ingot so as we said how we make them is simple and then the higher your tier goes the higher you go so like you just need a higher tier that goes for swords on armors too so like if i want to make a normal armor hill here i'll make it Simple, simple, simple. After making your armor, you can also upgrade it. So here there's something called augments. So to, to upgrade an armor, you will need an augment and an altar. So you'll need something called a tinkering altar. It's a simple craft. Wait, did I, I wrote it wrong. Okay. So the tinkering altar, simple things, so some stone, solium dust, and you make it. And then you can make any augment you want, required that you need. You need to use the infusion crafting table, and then using the augments you can make anything. So you need an augment in the middle, and then whatever you'll need. So this is for example absorption augment 1, you will need a golden apple and some inferior essence. So the way it works is, is fairly simple. You need, depending on what you make, there's augments that will give you buffs and there's augments that will give you passives and there's so that there's a difference so like for example there's an augment here that will give you aoe attack there's augments that will give you something so you made any augment the way you use it is that you get an armor it has to be with a level with a either the same tier or a higher tier you cannot use it on something lower once you put it you can put the augment on it so normal items can have one augment awakened items can have two augments so that's the difference between a normal and an awakening beast. Or, and that's how you augment your items. So you can make items and you can make them very strong. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about the machines you can make in the back. So there is three different types of machines you can make. And you can also enhance your craft, your furnaces. You can also enhance it as much as you want, which will give you better cooking speed and fuel efficiency and there is also three different types of machines you can make so the first one is called harvester so the harvester it's a simple one so some diamonds these are we know how to make these are the new ones and some iron solium ingot and machine frame which is a simple one now the way they work is they're very simple you put the machine wherever you want right it will need fuel either you, you can give it fuel by giving it a material that it can burn or you can also give it fuel using a different mode like you like for example if i use immersive engineering i can still give it fuel it accepts all type of fuel now once you give it fuel so for example the harvester once you give it fuel it will harvest seeds that are in front of it so the face is here you see where the face is now if i gi give it like something like this it will harvest it but it will take time to harvest it that's why there is something called upgrades so the way the upgrades work are same idea 
in the bat mod so you have the normal basic uh, upgrade which cannot be used and then you can upgrade it so it's just some chores ingots and then a den and then you upgrade it using the materials you want you can go up to awakened upgrade so if i try something really fast so this is so this is how it, it's taking so long but if i give it an upgrade that's the difference just instant let's just put more more it it does it just much much faster the same job just much much faster okay and it will just keep doing that and it's automated so like if we leave it here and we come back to it later it should take all of these all right so let's go for something else and then we'll look at this later all right now we have the after the harvester we have the seed processor so the seed processor is simple you get any seed you have if you have extra seeds so this is the seed processor if you can make it using the same idea it's just a different material so if you have extra seeds you turn these seeds into the essence and this goes and it can up go up to supreme quality and then you can also awaken it if you want and that will just give you faster results with better output you can have all the tiers so this is called the seed process and then last one last machine is something called the soul extractor so there is also the another way instead of killing the mobs yourself if you have the soul processor which you can give it an upgrade so i give it the fa biggest upgrade just to make it faster and i have a jar here so this has if you have a jar that says something on it like this is a spider jar i cannot put anything else i have to always go with spider all right so if i give it like for example some strings it just put like quantity you see what's happening it's taking it and now i have a full jar of spider so that will help you if you don't have something like that all right and as you see here the the thing you finished so this will be like this is fairly simple you can automate it very easily and obviously i can put under these a gross accelerant and make it into a really easy fast automated way okay and you can also output this into a different inventory so you have it fully automated and these machines you want to get them faster early on since you want your seeds to always because you're gonna need a lot because to make one supremium essen you'll need four multiplied four to the power four or something like, that. like it will need a lot okay all right now the last thing which is the awaken to awaken your items before we get into how to awaken your item there are some materials you want to know First of all, there is types of seeds. So there is elemental seeds. There is one that gives you air, and to make these seeds, it's it's a bit different. So because there is no specific material to uh, this, like when you need stone seed, you use stone. Here, there's no specific material, right? So to make it, you'll need a new material from mystical creation. So for the air one, you'll need an air material that you will need gravel, clay, dirt, and glass bottle. Same thing for for example earth one you'll need an earth one so these ones these materials once you get them once you plant all of these seeds they will give you an essen that essen can be used to craft items also they can be used to awaken so what you have all the ty different types of essence here which is water fire earth and air okay that's one item that you will need so just let, let's we need the essence second thing we'll need something called the conscious ink dust i'm not sure how to pronounce it but yeah so this to get this dust you will need to kill the big bosses of the game with an inferior essence weapon so any type of essence weapon doesn't matter but it has to be from mystical agriculture basically now when you kill these so here think, So once you kill these, so that the dust is usually obtained by killing a wither or an ender dragon using the essence tool. You can also enchant it with something called the mystical uh, enlightenment, which goes up to five, which will give you more drops. Okay. So once you obtain, you manage to obtain all the different essence and the dust, you can now make your awakening altar. So to, the awakening altar is a bit different you'll need an awakening altar it's the same idea as the other altar just different material so you need orange wool gold and salt stone and then the bitter stalls will need stone and gold and orange but you'll need something extra which is an essence vessel so that will need salt stone gold and glass the idea works simple 
you will need to put your glass once you put the altar it will tell you how to put everything and then you need to put the essence in the vessels different for different essence and then you will always need to put the dust and then last thing which is the item you're gonna switch so you'll need few newer items which one of them is gonna be the supremium block so once you reach the supremium block you can turn that so you need supremium block which comes from nine essence once you reach this level you can turn it into an awakened one so by simply putting dust all around and then water all around you can take this supremium block and turn it into an awakening supremium block all right so this is and then once you get this one you can turn it you, you can turn it back using a crafting table into an essence all right so now you made your block you can turn it into essence using that essence you can make the ingot and the gemstone so if we go here to awakening and then go for something like this this the ingot for example it just needs two two essence so it's not that expensive to be on so two essence and then the ingot and then the gemstone is two and then the gemstone right now once you made all of this you have all the materials you can go back to your altar to make any awakened item you want so for example if you want to make an awakened sword you will need two ingots and then two gems and then 40 elements so each one of them has 40 so you see if i this has 21 if i put one essence that count as one one is one and then if i put enough i can turn it into the awakened version so the awakened version is stronger and also if you go to an altar so if i, I tinkering table it's not called an altar so if i go to the tinkering table and i try something that's awakened so like this one i can turn i can have two upgrades so that just makes it so much stronger and also it gets a buff already so this is the super this is the awakened one and if i go the normal one here this has 24 attack this has 29 attack already before and that also upgrades one more upgrade and that's basically it as everything about mystical agriculture in 1.19.2 and all the new updates that got to the mod so the, they just tried to give the mod a little bit more difficulty and they added a newer techniques so the to the, the 1.12.2 is just simple just make seeds make strong armor and move on now here there's like altars and it just made it a bit more techy and there's also automations in the mod itself okay all right so that's it for mystical agriculture hope you guys enjoyed this video see you in the next one goodbye